and then who's around you shows you how everybody kind of their value in place and who really can help and assist and mentor and lead it is an inventory check on self and others during these hard moments right uh so a great point brought up by coach Dabo. y'all can get on board with that if you want and again i'm talking to a team not about nobody came there to play for me and so i'm talking to these guys because what i got to do first thing i do i got to get these guys to buy into this vision To the CVMK show. I'm your host, Cody Kelly, Mr. CVMK33 himself. Look, to be a leader, to be an entrepreneur, to do anything, whether it's a ministry, pastoralship, there are certain universal truths that is non-negotiable. When it comes to establishing a winning culture, you need to learn from those who have won. There's an old ancient African proverb that says, never let a naked man sell you clothes. And that's true. You want to win, got to be around winners. So I stumbled upon this podcast, shout out to A, B, and Chad, and they sent it to me. And I want to review it, take some things, critique it, throw my own sauce on it, and own spin, and uh, see if Dabble Sweeney is really telling the truth. Stay tuned for another episode of CBMK show because it is what it is. There's a hero in all of us waiting to be unleashed. All it takes is just that one last push. Activate the hero within with CBMK Global Supplements. All natural, steroid free, designed to enhance performance, build muscle, and increase energy. You are unstoppable. You can do this. Become your own hero at www.cbmkglobal.store. Check out www.cbmkglobal.store. Get your protein, transform, BCA, saucy pre-workout, either superpower or warrior thirst, transform. Use the code CBMK for 15% off. Look, Dabble Sweeney is a winner. The head coach of the Clemson football team in South Carolina. He wins. But he was on a podcast on the Ed Mellett show and he has some very interesting things to say and I want to break them down for you. And we're going to go bit by bit on what it takes to be a winning to be a winner and changing the culture of a football team and really an organization as a whole. Also, hit the notification button, like, share, comment, subscribe. Change the algorithm. YouTube at CVMK. Instagram CVMK33. CVMK underscore global. It is what it is. Underscore show. Let's get into it. History of Jays. If your job's to go get the coffee, man, you bring the best coffee that anybody's ever. You get that coffee, man. Everybody's going to manage. You get that coffee. This guy's unbelievable. All right. All right. Let's pause there. If it is your job to get the coffee, get the coffee right be the best coffee getter there is uh exhaust and fully invest and commit yourself to the smallest task and the simple things of life will become noticed Dabo goes on a quote george washington carver says if you could do the common things uncommonly well the world will take notice and i think that is fair um you know i you have to take every part of the process as something precious, as something unique, as something interdisciplinary, as a way to build you for the better, even when it seems a bit beneath you. I think it's easy, particularly as you age and as you achieve, to think that you have outgrown certain things or certain steps 
But the truth of the matter is, if you can appreciate even a misstep, a misstep is still a step, right? The misstep or the mistake isn't foot placement. It just happens to be what you landed on. And I think sometimes it's easy to get lost in the sauce and say, hey, man, like I should have been further by now. I should have done this, done that. And, you know, I just uh, just this, I don't agree. This is confusing. But I think when you when we get to the point where, you know, hey, look, it's OK. Every part of my task, every part of my job, even the most monotonous things, I'm going to give 110 percent because it speaks of who I am. Even when they don't go notice, they will always be impacted. So I want to do that. There's a few things he brought up. Skimp through it. Oh, bogus commercial. Let's see if we can get through this. If I came into your service-based business and booked 11,000 appointments on your sale. I didn't know if I'd ever get a chance to be a head coach. But I was just, I love what I do. I love what I was doing. I love my, I mean, I just trying to be the best at whatever it was. But I started kind of building a book, started putting a, a, a head coach book together in 19, I mean, literally right out of the gate. Things I liked, things I didn't like, uh, you know, uh, academic stuff, uh, philosophy of offense, philosophy of defense, philosophy of recruiting, philosophy of special teams, you know, who I would want to hire, you know, what would be my staff expectations, you know, whatever, how I would run practice. You know, and I started putting all this, just building this all over the years and all through the years. I, oh man, I like that. Throw it in the book. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, a lot of times, so I coached eight years at Alabama when I finished playing. I played five, coached eight. And a lot of times we learn more from the bad than we do the good. I want to pause there. He brings up, Dabble brings up a point that I think is overlooked is you do it before you do it. And what I mean by that, sometimes we, you know, only want to be in the big moments, in the big spotlight. You know, like you're a CEO before you're a CEO, right? When you're managing the household income, that is, you know, executive level leadership. When you're uh, managing the ministry finances, when you're, when you're managing, you know, your own health, when you're doing presentations in small groups. You know, all these steps get you to the big stage. And I think some of our challenges as a whole, as a society, is that we only feel valuable when we have an Instagram moment, right? A, a, a shareable social media moment that says, look at me, I've won, I'm better than you. I've hit this platform, plateau, spoken in front of 50,000 people, therefore I hire me, take notice. But Dabo, had his whole coaching philosophy, Coach Apple, excuse me, had his own coaching philosophy uh, already implemented while he was just an assistant at Alabama, right? He was a walk-on, uh, played five years, you know, obviously didn't go above that. He wasn't this stellar, you know, athlete, but he took the things that he was passionate about and he allowed purpose to intertwine with passion and consistency brought about the vision, right? So he talks about learning from losing or from these hard moments because we, we, we like to skip the process. We like to skip the hard moments. We like to think that it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't count. Uh, you know, there's no true greatness in it. But I think that the hard moments are the most defining moments uh, because the hard moment shows you who you are as an individual. And then who's around you shows you how everybody kind of their value in place and who really can help and assist and mentor and lead. It is an inventory check on self and others during these hard moments. Right. Uh, so a great point brought up by Coach Dabo. Y'all can get on board with that if you want. And again, I'm talking to a team. Not nobody, nobody came there to play for me. And so I'm talking to these guys because what do I got to do? The first thing I do, I got to get these guys to buy into this vision. Mm. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to do the common things and uncommon. You know what that is? 
man, how we clean that locker room. Here's how. And- See, I like that. So if you listen to the story, watch the podcast. Shout out to the MLS show. Um, listen to the whole podcast. He talks about, you know, he took over from a coach that was already in place when he became um, uh, the full senior coach, full head coach at Clemson. And he, when he was hired, they called him a D-plus uh, hire, right? Like, you know, this is just somebody extra. He's a good character, you know, guy, good character person. Uh, no long-term vision or play for him, but he just stayed the course, stayed the course, stayed the course. And when the job was offered to him, everybody that was there in the program came for the other coach. So, you know, when you come into a situation where you have little to no influence, your job is to communicate a vision and to get others to buy in. So first you have to communicate it and you communicate it in a way that it can be received, right? You do it by changing the culture and creating value within your communication. It's not like, hey, look, I'm now the new guy. I'm the new boss. You know, everybody listen to me. Everybody else back back and shut up. It's okay. I've been given this responsibility. I can't do this without you, but this will be the course I need you to hold me accountable and I will hold you accountable and together we will prosper. And when you start speaking in the language of cohesion, right? And how we're going to come about this and how we're actually going to navigate this and how we're actually going to, uh, you know, do well and, 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 and pull ourselves up and bind together. You feel like you're building a family and in this podcast, uh, Ed really brings out and Coach Dabble this essence of family. He said he wanted the football team to feel like a family. He even brings up, you know, when they changed the NCAA rule that, you know, people can visit the college campus basically all year round. He said, look, we only have visitations from this month to this month. He said, because I still want to go to my son's baseball game. He said, I'm still a father at the end of the day. And I think that gets lost. Sometimes we want to win so bad, we're willing to neglect and destroy the things that really matter. And these things really, really matter really matter and we have to be as poignant as uh straight and foundationally correct as possible so we can align and when you align well you do well ship for the rest of our life that's kind of oh another commercial shout out to the to the commercials this <laughs> how i look at it you know and so so if you look at if you went right now and looked at how many offers were out, there's 65 power five teams in Division One football. You know, we're probably third or fourth in fewest offers in the country. We just don't offer many guys. Uh, but 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 these coaches know I empower them, but they also know I'm gonna hold them accountable. Mm. You know, and because if there's a problem, guess who's guess whose office it's gonna end up in? Mine. And so, you know, they know. They know the culture. They this place is not easy. We have a ton of fun, and everybody, you know, when they see that's part of us. We want to have a great experience. We want to have some fun, but our culture is one that squeezes people up. You know, you if you're not all in here, you're not going to blend in, and that's okay. I think that's you know, I from this, I'm starting to understand being squeezed up, not squeezed out. Here's what I'm saying: I say, take take a tub of toothpaste squeeze it from the bottom or just squeeze it like in the middle just boop. if you squeeze it in the middle the top shoots out and the bottom gets lower if you squeeze up and you take it from the bottom all of it rises even if it rises at a different time they all they are all going in the same direction when it comes to establishing a culture in an organization uh, and a team and a ministry, I think it's utterly essential to squeeze up, to squeeze from the bottom up, to squeeze and make the culture bring out the best of everybody so that they come out in the same funnel. I think too many times because of maybe offense or we don't want to become connected or for whatever reasons, we either press in the middle and whoever wins wins and everybody else loses or we you know uh think that or i'd say this or you do you know the kid thing and everything's at the top and the top is flat and the bottom is heavy and it's like it's got junk in the trunk because you didn't develop right when a real leader a real organization is supposed to squeeze all of it you, it's, it's it's supposed to filter you're supposed not that you can't 
be who you are, but your sense of self also has to, in some aspects, align itself. It doesn't mean it becomes an amalgamation or a distorted figure, but it does have to become aligned with what it's trying to connect to. You know, uh, my right, left shoulder or left arm, right arm, two different lanes, actually, right? Two different strengths. I'm actually stronger in my left hand than in my right hand. But because it's connected to the spine, right? The rotator cuffs and everything connects. You have a body that is enabled to reach, right? To have power. And I think that's what it's about. There's going to be obvious difference, but the alignment aspect of it is essential uh, for true power uh, to be held. And then I want to tackle this last thing that he brings up on, I want to, on faith. Give God the glory. You know, I don't want any. I don't coach either. I don't have glory for anything that, that that happens in my life. We're we're two guys that have that in common. I'm a sinner saved by the grace of God too. Thank God. And uh, but I'm told that I'm bold when I do it because I catch some criticism for it, just like you do. That's I think what I meant by bold. And and uh, I like you so much. Yeah. Well, I can't worry. I just don't worry about that. You know. I mean, listen. I mean that 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 outside noise is always going to be there. And, and again, if we spend our lives sitting around worried about, you know, what, what, what we need to worry about is pleasing God. And I think Dabble hit us on the head in an, in an intense and ultra sensitive climate that we're in. Faith is taboo, particularly the Christian Judeo faith. You know, <laughs> even he said, you know, Jesus can get you canceled. But the reality is, speaking objectively, should it should we not just look at faith objectively and see it as a part of the human experience and therefore not necessarily comparing uh deity to deity or power to power but as a sense of an identifying marker to another identifying marker even if the two ideologies have opposing views it is yet a view and i think sometimes we have politicized uh foundation and have created tribalism within uh principles within belief systems uh but the reality is and this is something i hold as a christian we are created to serve god right and wherever you go it's not that everything has to turn into a bible study because that's not the purpose of most business and it shouldn't but your values and the spirit in which you display behavior knowing that you yourself is not perfect should be exemplary, uh, exemplary of who you represent and who you have submitted yourself to, right? Your character speaks volume, and I don't think anyone should be discriminated against, particularly for any reason, but even more specifically for that reason. If you love God, you love God. And there should be no chatter after that, right? It should just be, okay, next subject, <laughs> you know? And I think, and I applaud Coach Dabble Sweeney uh, and, and Ed Millett for having that boldness of faith, for saying, this is who I am. This is what I believe. I love Jesus. It's unapologetic. Uh, I'm not here to bash you with it, but at the same time, I, I love him. And I hope that you have my love for him shines upon you and it creates some type of transformation and that you want to learn more and love him because he loves you as well. And when you do it through that mechanism, uh, it's undeniable the results and coach Dabble. Sweeney's record speaks for himself. I think 2018 won the national championship. He's always a contender for the championship. Personally, I want to see them go against the Colorado team with Coach Prime Sanders. But this is a great podcast. I recommend it, especially when you're trying to, you're coming into a new situation. You're trying to sharpen your skills as a leader. You're trying to change the culture of an organization. You're trying to really impact the youth. Shout out to the MLS show. Uh, this uh, right here is instrumental and I think is a podcast episode that you all uh, just check, check out. I'll be back with a quick word uh, from our sponsors. I literally just tried the best pre-workout on the planet. With Superpower Pre-Workout, you have increased focus and a power boost every single time you work out. It's not only packed with 225 milligrams of caffeine, but it also has citrulline and creatine. It's insane how much energy and focus I had during my workouts. If you're ready to take your workouts to the next level, then dish your current pre-workout and get the superpower pre-workout to be your own hero. All right, y'all, www.cvmkglobal.store. Get it today. Look, leadership is difficult. 
perfecting yourself, perfecting your craft, your technique, your methodology, your influence is difficult as well. Human beings are human. Trying to connect, mold, and get the best out of yourself and others is a daily fight. And there are tools that are universal. There are concepts and strategies that I think every leader needs to implement and really not just do the research, but take the time to actually perfect oneself. This is one of them. I think listening to podcasts like we're on right now, the CBMK show <laughs> will help you get there uh, because it's where business, entertainment, faith, and sports collide uh, and politics. Uh, but also just listening to other stories. The Bible says that we are overcomer by the words of their testimonies. Or in other words, we get through life and we win by listening to others and how they did it. Right. Like words, communication, storytelling. It has power. And Coach Dabble Sweeney's story is powerful. But you know what you got to do. You know what you got to do. You want to keep seeing amazing content, amazing just uh, reviews like this. Because we, we do everything. We want to look at other content and whatnot, support and pick little things, little nuggets that we can chew on. CVMK, all you got to do is put on YouTube. Hit like, share, notification button. Instagram, CVMK33. It is what it is. I'm score. show CVMK underscore global. And until next time, guys. Thanks. Hey, what's up? It's CVMK33. Look, I want you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, subscribe here, 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 everywhere so you can get the latest and greatest of this podcast content. Stay tuned.